Well, it's uh, Trevor Baker. Again, the nervous relationships and many other things in this world is Jesus. He's the certain someone. And there's some people listening that you don't know who that certain someone is. And I didn't know who he was either. Or I didn't, I heard of him, but he wasn't part of my life until uh, when I was 22 and I'd just about given up and I was a pretty big mess. I was looking for love in all the wrong places and I was just a very confused man. And when I found that love, the love of God, it gave me a peace. And you know, you see tabloid magazines and you go through the grocery store and it says, so-and-so's in love again. <laughs> they don't even know what love is many times. This song, I hope it, it can say things, to, different things to different people, I suppose. There are folks that uh, have maybe lost a spouse uh, and you miss them. I meet lots of people in concerts in my years that, you know, someone has passed on, their wife or husband, and, and then the Lord becomes their, their spouse. And, you know, I guess you could say, let, let's tell me, that, uh, I heard the story of what a friend we have in Jesus, and I didn't even know it until uh, recently. And it was uh, 1800s, I believe, and uh, they met husband, fiance, <laughs> I mean, uh, man, on their wedding day, they met at the river, horses. And just as they got there, her horse threw her and she landed in the river, hit her head on a rock, and she died. And can you imagine what that would do to that man on his wedding day? The bottom fell out of his world. And that man turned to God for comfort. And later, I don't know how many years later, but he met another lady and they were to be married also. And a few weeks before the wedding, she also took sick and died. And once again, he turned to God for comfort. And he wrote, what a friend we have in Jesus. A man that lost two wives and was never married. And you know, we sing the song, I come to the garden alone. <laughs> he walks with me, talks with me, tells me I'm his own. Do you notice that it says, I come to the garden alone? Didn't come with their spouse. We all need that. They came to the garden alone. We need that alone with just him. It's as much as special as special as it can be, you know, a married couple. I've seen some really special couples in my travels. But the strength of them is that married life is not two. It's three. And Jesus came and healed the brokenhearted. It said in there, in the Bible, and some of you have had your hearts broken in different ways in your life. And you need to know that that's certain someone. He is amazing. The love of God is, is undescribable. <laughs> He's the perfect one for me. Oh, how happy we will be. You've seen the shows, they're on TV. We tune in from sea to sea, thinking romance is the one and only key. Some only love their wedding dress and want lots of wedding guests. Expensive diamonds mean you're blessed. And 
you know all the rest, but many end up in a mess when that love's put to the test, cause they never understood that more is less. You see, married life takes three, that certain someone has to be bowed on bended knee. Not just on a shopping spree Yes, Jesus and only He Can make the two become as we That certain someone Must be in your family tree That certain someone Well, His name is Jesus He's the only one who can fill that void with Him. His love is more than feelings. It frees the soul from sin. If you're wondering where He's been, or you need to come to Him again, that certain someone will gladly take you in. That certain someone is in the pages of a book been round for ages that didn't speak of higher wages or living for the latest rages he came to unlock all our cages free us from the mire and sages the time is getting down to the final stages so have you found that certain someone to make your heart content? Your time with him is all well spent. You'll wonder where the hours went. To his love will you consent? Cause every word of it he meant. That certain someone was truly heaven sent. That certain someone, well, his name is Jesus. He's the only one who can fill that void within. His love is more than feelings, it frees the soul from sin. If you're wondering where he's been, or you need to come to him again, that certain someone will gladly take you in. That certain someone will gladly take you in. Sometimes, there's a story in the Bible of the, the ten foolish, uh, the, the, the ten virgins, the, the, the wise, five wise and, and the five foolish. And, you know, the, the, what it really amounts to is, it was five that were wise and they, were, they knew that certain someone. And they were waiting for him. And they were looking to heaven. And the other five, they weren't ready. They weren't waiting for him. They were bluffing, if you will. And with what's going on right now in our world, we might soon find out which ones love God and which ones are bluffing. I heard a story years ago of, uh, I'm not sure which country, it was in Romania maybe, uh, in the war, and the, uh, they were having a church service, and the, 
the soldier, two soldiers came in. They had their guns and everything, and they said, anybody who wants their life, you better take it now. And half the church was running out the doors and through the windows and over the hills and gone. And then once they were gone, there was still, still a bunch left. They said, they put down their guns and they said, well, now let's have church. They were Christians. You see, when our life is put on the line, and none of, many of us have not ever experienced stuff like that. But if we're close and we know that certain someone, he will give us the strength to face whatever it is, even death. That certain someone People have lived, you know, sometimes we think well, well, nobody's going to suffer. And yet read the book of he Hebrews 11. You know, some of them, yes, they had miracles happen to them. They had good things. And, you know, others, they were sawn in two. They, things happened to them. They wandered in the hills and the caves in goat skins and sheep skins. They never received on this earth. They look to another place. Some people say they didn't have enough faith. <laughs> oh, they had more faith. Probably more faith than most to be able to suffer and go through all of that. And there's a lot of people on this earth have clung to their faith in spite of it all. I hear these words on every corner. Fear not, we'll be okay. Sometimes they become just that, an old cliche. As long as we're not hungry, we can sing and praise and shout. But which ones really mean it? Yes, I think we'll soon find out. We've been programmed in a language. We know all the words. As long as our boat isn't sinking, and our dreams don't all submerge. But as the waves start getting higher, there'll be a whole bunch bailing out. Because they never thought they'd suffer. Yes, I think we'll soon find out. A lot of folks in history who died in plagues, lost their homes. They still clung to their faith. You can read it on their stones. We've been told we'll live scot free. We'll never have a doubt. But read the Bible and see the tears. Yes, I think we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out who lives for God, which one's bluffing. If we take one on a job, we've got nothing. If it all gets stripped away, will we still say we're okay? Will we thank Him, or will we sit and pout? If things get desperate, I think we'll soon find out. We've been living pretty cozy, eating far more than we need, asking God to bless us in our selfishness and greed. But what will happen to us now? Our world goes down a different route. Which one of us has faith in God? I think we'll soon find out. Maybe this is necessary to bring us back to common sense, to expose all our hypocrisy, games, 
a show and pretense. Oh, we can talk like we have God, but if there's a famine or a drought, we'll be tested to the core. Yes, I think we'll soon find out. So hang on like little children. If your friends start bailing out, because they never really knew him. Had no oil in their land. In times of survival, we'll get to know if we're a scout. Or we're listening to our master. Yes, I think we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out who lives for God, which one's bluffing. If we take one on the job, we've got nothing. If it all gets stripped away, will we still say we're okay? Will we thank Him? Or will we sit and pout? If things get desperate, I think we'll soon find out. Yeah, if things get desperate, I think we'll soon find out. things we, <laughs> easy for all of us to lose sight of, is that this is not our home. I live in Canada, but this is not my home. Some people live in America, but it's not your home. If you know that certain someone, that's not your home. You know, it's not to, God looks at Canadians as being the most special people on the earth, or Americans as being the most special Oh, God has people all over this earth. He loves them all. He wants them all to know that certain someone. And uh, this song here is interesting because it goes back a lot of years. I started traveling full time 20 years ago. And this was after two years of traveling back and forth and across to Canada. Coast to coast to coast to coast. Did 300 concerts or more in those two years. Seen all the sights, if you will. I didn't, I didn't do this for seeing sights, but you get to see the country as you travel. And God made some beautiful stuff. Yes, he did. And you can appreciate that. But think about this. After I'd seen all that country, all that beauty, the mountains, everything, God gave me this song called I Don't Belong Here. And Trevor, don't start to feel too at home here. You can appreciate God's beauty, but this is not paradise. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing that for you up there. So we have to keep that in mind. We, you know, if we know that certain someone, this world, there's a reason why people would say this world is not my home, I'm only passing through. If something down here could bring that contentment, that's why like it's empty. People chase money, they chase all kinds of you know, even vacations, you know, they try they chase it. You know, well then they'll be happy. And you know, there's nothing wrong with going on a vacation. But there's a lot of folks that come home at the end and they're okay. That was it. See, there's still, only, there's a void in there that only that certain someone can satisfy when we come to the garden alone, talk with him. And that can be, there's people, I heard one story, I'll just uh, leave you with that uh, for the song. Uh, years ago, Corrie Ten Boom was, I believe she was in China somewhere, and she, of course, been in a concentration camp. She'd seen all kinds of you know, bad stuff. She lived through some terrible stuff. And she was in this place where they had all these shacks and they were living just, just huts, just, just absolute poverty. And uh, she heard a voice singing. 
off in the distance. And she got, she kept going and finally she got close and there was a, a lady in one of these places that was just, you'd think it was just the worst place to live and she was singing a praise song to God. And even Cora Ten Boom said, how is that possible? That someone could have joy and peace in a place like this. That is who our God is. And there's a bunch of people out there, you've been looking for peace for a long time. Some of you, you might be listening to me and you don't even, you've never even been there, but you know, you know this world, you've been chasing the wind. And none of it makes you happy. None of it brings peace. None of it brings contentment. Well, I'm telling you, that certain someone can. And his name is Jesus. I've read stories in the Bible of the way things used to be, how the saints of old used to live their lives, but something they couldn't see. They lived on this earth like strangers, see they knew where they were gone. And words like this must have crossed their lips every time they were alone. I don't belong here I see that more and more each day I'm getting homesick For a place where it's all gonna be okay I think I understand Ah, oh, what the old saints must have known We don't belong here And one day soon we're going home Down through the years We've heard the stories How they were tortured And they were killed There seems to be No rhyme or reason To explain The blood they spilled You see to call yourself A Christian Was a crime And you had to pay And if we're honest just look around, it's still the same today. So we don't belong here. I see that more and more each day. I'm getting homesick for a place where it's all gonna be okay. I think I understand. Oh, what the old saints must have known I don't belong here One day soon We're going home Some folks say things are different now It's not like that anymore then why do we mock the things of God like we never did before? The good book says when it gets like this, the end of time is near. I may not understand all the ins and outs, but one thing for sure is getting clear. I don't belong here. I see that more and more each day I'm getting homesick For a place where it's all gonna be okay I think I understand All oh, what the old saints, they must have known We don't belong here One day soon, we're going home Now some may say, you know, I feel that way, but it seems you're all alone. You've got heaven on your mind, and though you live down here, you just don't seem like home. Well, those old saints, they felt just the same. They seen things in a different way. And when they talked about life, 
and you read between the lines, you could almost hear them say, I don't belong here. I see that more and more each day. I'm getting homesick for a place where it's all going to be okay. I think I understand. All of the old saints must have known we don't belong here. One day soon, we're going home. I think I understand. All of the old saints, they must have known we don't belong here. One day soon, we're going home. Thank you for putting up with me again here a little bit. And once again, if you're just listening for the first time, I've got CDs. God's given me a lot of songs through the years. They're a gift, and these are they're free. Donation is only optional. You send me your address, and I'll I'll send you a CD, whatever. It'll encourage you. Because I know there's some folks that need some encouragement, <laughs> especially right now. And uh, to stay close to that certain someone, and you'll be fine. And those of you who don't know him, maybe through this time you'll find that certain someone. <laughs> It'll be. You'll wonder where the peace, how you could have joy that you never had before. And even in times like this, you'll, you'll be able to just sit. There's a peace that passes all understanding. And it only comes from that certain someone in Jesus. So God bless you. Thank you for listening. <laughs>